In outback Queensland, Beck Climie's male run is longer, harder and more intense than that of her city counterparts. But she wouldn't trade her route for anywhere else. Honestly, just a feeling of community. Like, there is just this part of being a semi-important cog in a wheel, I suppose. You know, if it's the middle of the mustering and they need food, they rely on the mail to bring the food. Or they break down and there's a part coming in the mail or a part from a shop in town. There's so many small elements, I guess, that make it into a great job. Julia Creek is a small town about three hours east of Mount Isa on the Flinders Highway. It's from here that Beck Climie's mail run begins. Twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays, she heads out on a long journey through the towns of McKinley and Kainuna in northwest Queensland. It's roughly 600 kilometres a day, so twice a week, so 1,200 k's a week, and there's 34 stops but most of those are just mailboxes, so I don't see that many people each mail run. And being an Outback Postie doesn't mean delivering just parcels and letters. There's been chooks and guinea fowls, and the other day there was a potty lamb. So the potty lamb got dropped off to me about 24 hours before the mail run, so lived in my chook pen for <laughs> overnight and then came in the car with me the next day and until it got dropped off. Beck loves her job. She makes every male run special, even though her route never changes. In her seven years as the postie, she's introduced a book club, morning teas, secret Santa, even lotto. And today on the male run, it's show day. Julia Creek does not have a traditional agricultural show. There's a lot of people on the mail run that are very arty and crafty and very good at making things. And so I thought, well, we could have our own show. And I try to relate everything we do back to the mailboxes. So mail run show is an uh, agriculture show with a difference, I suppose. Pick up the yeah. kids. <laughs> For most homes across Australia, the mailbox is at the end of the driveway. But in the outback, that can mean kilometres from the front door. Cutest pet. Nominee. Oh. Right, we have to take photos so we can remember. From cutest pet to best photography, <laughs> the top scones and smoko delights, Mail Run Show has something for everyone. And if not, they can make up their own category. Beck photographs all entries and at the end of the day picks the winners. I love the Mail Run Show. It's a long day because there's a lot of things to stop and look at and I love that when we get to the mailboxes with kids they're all waiting and they're excited to show you their pictures and their drawings and their cooking and just warms my heart with how much everyone gets involved and this year we probably had triple the amount of entries than we did last year and it really grew and people really took it on so I think that's really good. This part of Australia has extreme weather. There are frequent droughts but in 2019 there were devastating floods that killed hundreds of thousands of cattle. I think we lost about 1,700 cattle out of what we have here, 2,700. Yeah, so it was sort of traumatic looking at all the fence lines covered in, you know, cattle in corners where they were just all dead. It's not a place or a life suitable for everyone. But it's all Gail Bat knows. She grew up on a nearby property. And you just get ups and downs all the time in the markets, in the weather, whether you get drought, floods, it's just part of life here. Yeah. And you just flow with it. <laughs> Her nearest neighbours to the north are 30 minutes away and south, 20 minutes. A postie provides an important connection to the world but Beck is special. Beck's been a great male lady. Yeah, set up all these little clubs and shows like today. Every Christmas, she drops off a little Christmas present for the kids. Anything that comes up, she'll make sure we're all involved. And it's just great, yeah. It quickly becomes clear everyone is willing to go the extra mile for Beck. That is cool. Belle, you do it every year. The cutest pet competition is clearly a competitive field. <laughs> Bright arts and crafts fill the mailboxes. 
It's in a frame and everything. Eskies stop treats from spoiling in the outback heat. Coffee strusel slice. A favourite smoker at Redland Park. Yum! The next stop is Rutchelo Station, home to the Wilson family. I'd say resilient is the word that comes to mind when describing those who call Beck's Mail run home. Floods, droughts, isolation, it can all make for a really tough life out here, but optimism always shines through. And Kimberly Wilson and her family are a perfect reflection of that. Oh my God, is this gonna be like a helicopter or something? No, it's a plane, World War I plane. That's cool. Youngest child, Xander Wilson, got creative with his entry this year. That but everyone cool. in the family enjoys this time of year. Yeah, She's right. made the mail run a community so that we all have connection and everything. There's different things that she does, like the Mail Run Show Day, just to, I don't know, I think bring a little bit of joy in our lives, and it does. It, it makes you feel a little bit better. I craft for mental health and things like that because I enjoy it, but being able to show her and show everyone else, it's nice. It's just nice to have some interest and I've even made pieces for back now too. I'm going to get a little plaque for it to say that it was last year's best in show. She says Beck has brought people living on the mail run together and it's the love and support of the community which have helped the Wilson family through personal heartbreaks. In 2013, we lost our eldest daughter, Peyton, in a farm accident. And, um, yeah, we... <laughs> it, yeah, it's... We... Well, we survived, I suppose. We are surviving. Um, and it was a big challenge at the time. We only had Peyton and Cadence, and we found out about a week after Peyton's funeral that we were three months pregnant with Xander. So the shocks just kept on coming <laughs> for me. That is the fish. Oh, that's cool. It's yeah. fiery. Living in the bush can be interesting and rewarding, full of successes and failures. But remoteness can also be isolating, especially for the young. But out here, a postie has made a big difference. You're sort of connected and disconnected from everyone around you at the same time. I mean, you spend your life on these massive properties where you see very few people for most of the time, but then you also are more connected because of how close everyone is, because, you know, you're male lady, you're, not, you're closer to her because you're the only people that she might talk to on, on those days. Twice a week you've got an opportunity to converse with someone if um, you want to and if you are isolated you can always go out and meet Beck at the mail run or leave her a note or do something or she'll leave you a note. I think that kind of kindness and um, things is what helps everyone. The mail run takes a bit longer on show day and no one is left out of the day's festivities. So I'm dropping you some, some cooking. This one's from Margaret at Broadlands. This one's from Kimberly at Ratchelow. That one's from Xander at Ratchelow. And a show bag, because it's show day. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so well, I never do any cooking. There you go. So... Uh... And it's magazine day, so you get magazines and cake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. Hello! Hi! Hey! This show day is happening during school holidays. Hello! Hey, Charlie! Hey, Jackson! <laughs> and it wouldn't be a proper show without show bags. What do you reckon, Hank? Would you like oh, a show bag, Hank? Oh, Fidelli. Oh, look at all your stuff. You guys have been so busy. There we go. The arts and crafts alone at Brayside were enough to fill a pavilion at the Ecker. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, it's another rainbow. So clever, Molly. Nice. When we're going to my dance class in Jelly Creek and we see Beck coming, we, like, get screaming. Mm. Yeah, but, like, so ah, but really loud. Why? Because we're just so excited to see her, we don't see her very often. My apple turnovers. 
Smoko Treats was a very competitive field this year. Oh my god. We've got me, we've got John, there's Frankie, Jackson, Molly, Billy and Hank. They were pretty excited to show her all the stuff that they had made. They've been waiting all week, you know, to have it all ready for her. They've got that many things made up there that they were picking out which ones they want for the best. Yeah, they just, they think she's pretty good anyway. They like her. Does that really happen anywhere else? No, with... I haven't seen it. No, <laughs> it's pretty special. She's pretty good. Are people jealous of this male run? Oh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> well, I would be if I was on another male run. You know, if I was on another station, I'd be thinking, yeah, well, you should be doing that. In true Beck style, she's taken her job to a whole other level by creating a podcast, More Than Male. It showcases the lives of those who call her male run home. It's pretty wild and rough. There's a lot of background noise. You know, like a traditional podcast would be um, in a studio, there'd be no background noise, it'd all be pretty polished. Mine is anything but polished, but that's what I love about it, is that it is as much an adventure as the actual male run itself. Dropping episodes twice a week, Beck gives listeners an insight into what life is like in northwest Queensland. All the stories that they tell come together to make a life out here, you know, and it's not chronological, so it is just a group of stories coming together to describe what our life is like out here. And what a life it is, especially her own, with a 600 odd kilometre round trip twice a week delivering mail. I really enjoy organising things. Sometimes when I put myself under a bit of pressure, I wonder why I do that. But I do really enjoy the Mail Run show. Like when you get to Brayside and there's seven kids there that are so excited to see you and have, and have spent their entire school holidays preparing things for the show, you think this is why I do it. The Mail Run feels like a community in its own right. It's helping them have a fun life as well. The next night in Julia Creek, locals are enjoying themselves with the classic town versus country rugby league match. The region is enjoying its best wet season in years. The town is alive and spirits are high. Come on, Gavin, have a crack. This is a fantastic town. There's no crime, everyone has a good time. Once we all get together, that's a big party. Everyone enjoys themselves. It is, after all, a community that has been through the best and the worst of times, made even stronger by their local postie. It's just Beck, I think. She's very special. 